Hi everyone, my name is Sarah with Wearing Wigs with a Grace and I'm here to chat with you again about this particular wig that I'm wearing. This is the Milano ponytail wig. The color is Ash Blonde with a reverse balayage. Um, you can find it in their pre-cut gallery um, and the length that I have on is the 22 inches. So I already created um, one video which was the day that I just got this wig. I had just put it on, I loved it. Um, and there's some details that I've learned now about it. So this is kind of like an update part two um, review on this Milano ponytail wig. And I still love it. I just wanted to create this video because I've learned some things as I've played around with it some more and putting it up on a ponytail, there's some features of it that I wanted to share with you that um, go well with the ponytail updo using this wig. And there's also a special tip that I learned that helps when you have this wig up in a ponytail. So let me first start off with some features that I hadn't realized when I first shared details about this wig in my um, first video. Um, that I love now that I've had time to play around with it, putting it up on a ponytail. Um, and those features are um, some baby hairs. Um, I wouldn't say maybe like baby hairs, but there's definitely some shorter hairs that I'm able to pull down at the hairline, which really helps um, the overall look while it's up in a ponytail. And another feature that I learned, um, which I love, is there's some short hairs right at the nape that you're able to pull down. And I'll um, kind of do a demonstration of that when I put it up for you guys in just a moment. Um, but I also didn't share some details about the inside of the cap. I didn't show um, y'all what the inside of the cap looked like. And I just wanted to go ahead and be a little bit more specific and detailed in this video about what it looks like on the inside. So, I just got the basic um, cap that they offer, which is the just with the clips and the combs. Um, I did pay extra for a small size cap. I think it was $50 extra for them to adjust the size, but I have a small head, so I definitely recommend um, making sure to get your correct size because you'll want it to be very fitted if you do plan to wear this wig in a ponytail. So. The inside of the cap, there's a longer comb at the nape and they had the same size comb right at the front and I actually removed that. Um, I don't like to use clips and combs. Um, it bothers my scalp because my hair is pretty thin up top. So I removed that longer clip or that longer comb and then they had one clip on each ear tab which I also removed. So I don't have clips there. And they also had one clip on each side of the silk top and I removed those as well. So the only um, thing I kept on was this longer comb in the very back of the nape. And I, I really don't use it, but I just kept it on there just in case because it doesn't hurt me to use that on my back um, nape area. So I kept that comb on. Um, you can see that there's um, closed wafting and then it does have um, adjust adjustable straps and then um, as I said in the first video it has um, a silk top and I am very impressed with the realistic look of the scalp or the part line. Um, so they call their, they said that um, it has a French silk top. I don't know if that's really much of a difference than just regular silk top, but just to give you a close-up view, it definitely has a really nice scalp appearance. Um, and then it has the front lace, the lace front hairline, which um, as I mentioned in my first video, it came already pre-cut and you can see now that it's off up close, they cut it very, very short, which is fine. It still works. Um, they use like a like a zigzag type of scissors to cut it. And when you have it on, you really, you can't even like see that lace. Um, what else? Let me go ahead and, oh, let me talk about this. Okay, so 
when I have this up in ponytail, it definitely creates like some heaviness in the back, which tends to start, start to make the wig slide backwards. So I found that when I was wearing just my regular velvet wig grip, if I tried to have this wig on in a ponytail, it would eventually slip backwards. Um, so I needed to find a better wig grip um, that would work for this particular wig in a ponytail or just in general, if I needed like an extra secure grip, this is the type of um, wig grip that works really well. So this one is called the Wig Fix and it's a silicone um, headband and it has um, raised silicone bumps on the underneath side as well as um, the top side. So the underneath bumps um, help to keep it in place while it's on your head and then the bumps on the outer surface help to keep your wig gripped to the band. Um, I will say that the underneath bumps would bother my scalp, so I have to wear like um, some sort of wig cap. And even th this is all that I had, this was just like a free one I got from some wig that got delivered. Um, and it's just like the pantyhose. So I, like it definitely still helps um, with the bumps. It helps to make it feel a little bit better. Um, if I try to wear this wig grip just on my regular head without any sort of wig cap, it irritates my scalp majorly. So keep that in mind if you're gonna look into this type of wig grip. Um, if you have really um, thin hair or like no hair at all, um, those bumps on the underneath side may bother you big time, unless you wear some sort of like covering to at least provide a little bit of a barrier between the wig grip and your scalp. Um, but I will say that this particular wig grip is ultra grippy. Um, it provides major security, I think they even advertise that it's like roller coaster proof, which I haven't tested that out yet. But um, if it's like, if I know it's a super windy day or maybe I'm going out on a boat where there's gonna be, you know, extra wind going on, um, or if I am wearing a wig up in a ponytail and I wanna make sure to have that extra grip, this is the um, wig grip that I would wear. Every other day, I like to wear my velvet wig grip because it's much more comfortable. Um, and I will say also this wig grip is kind of pricey. It's $32, um, which I thought was a little pricey, um, but I bit the bullet and went ahead and got it. And um, it's nice to have this as an option for those times that I do need the extra security. All right, I want to put this back on and show you guys how it is in a ponytail because there's some special features that I learned after having this for about two weeks and I've had time to play around with it and do different styles. Um, I noticed some great things that this wig has that help it to look extra realistic when it's um, pulled up like in a ponytail. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys and then I'll talk about the features. Okay, so now that I have her up, I can um, show you those features that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Um, so I like how it has the shorter hairs right here at the hairline that I can pull down. It helps to make it um, look a little bit more realistic. So I just kind of pull those down like that. And then of course I make sure to like tease down the hairs at the ear tabs and the sides, um, the sides of the nape right behind the ears. And then like I had mentioned um, earlier in the video, I love how there's these shorter hairs at the nape to pull down. Um, I feel like that definitely helps to make it look more realistic. Um, and then the back comb, this is one reason why I went ahead and left it on. Um, I typically, this is the only time I actually use the back comb, but, um, while it's in a ponytail, I'll slip it all the way underneath the wig grip, um, so that it is providing, um, more security in the back there. And then also to help make the nape more flat against my, the back of my neck. So. 
This is what she looks like. Side view. Here's the back. Other side. And I love these little um, scrunchy bows that you can find on Amazon. Um, they are pretty cheap. I think it comes with a pack of eight. Um, and it just kind of helps to add a little accessory to your ponytail. So there you have it. This is um, the Milano ponytail wig while it's up in a ponytail. And I just wanted to share those extra details with you um, to keep in mind um, when you're putting her up in a ponytail because it's back heavy, you'll need some extra security and um, I use the Wig Fix uh, silicone grip band, but I'm sure there's some others out there you can look into, but I definitely feel like you need some extra grip while it's up in this style. And maybe, you know, using the clips and combs that I had originally taken out would help you. I just, I can't wear clips and combs up front, especially because it just really bothers my scalp with my thin hair. Um, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and thanks for listening. Bye.